pictures like this reveal the truth about addiction. The shot of an Indiana mother overdosing on heroin, a needle in her hand went viral last year. But what you can't see is her baby in the back seat. Babies and children are the invisible victims of a growing addiction epidemic. New at 10 tonight, WSBT 22's Jesse Schultz reports there are a lot of children in our area who are suffering. Suffering because their parents can't take care of them. They're addicted. That addiction leaves these children in the system, a system that is now overrun with too many kids and not enough foster parents to take care of them. Kids abandoned by addicts. Innocence is naturally instilled in children, but it's delicate. One moment, one mistake, one relapse can shatter it. For many kids in our area, instead of thinking about, well, kid things, Mommy, I want to play a puzzle. They're thinking about whether their parents will stay clean tonight. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Right now, Bella is Joel and Jamie Irwin's only kid. But just a few months ago, Bella had two sisters. For a year, the Irwins were foster parents to two little girls in Elkhart County. Full of energy, um, uh, creative, uh, kept me on my toes, I know. Um, Strong-willed, very strong-willed. The girl's mom addicted to methamphetamine, unable to take care of them. The mother had had, you know, drug problems, pretty serious drug problems. The girls are just a small part of a bigger picture. In the past four years, Indiana's DCS cases have significantly increased. From September of 2014 until now, almost 10,000 more children entered the system. In 2013, 31% of all the DCS cases involved addiction. This year, it's almost 60%. The numbers are staggering, and those numbers, I can't stress enough, aren't just figures on a piece of paper, they're children. It's opioids, it's methamphetamine, it's prescription drugs, and the numbers of people abusing those drugs are growing. Before any of those children enter the foster care system, their parents find themselves in a courtroom like this. Juvenile magistrate Deborah Domini sees 1,400 cases a year. It surprises me as a mom that the hold of addiction is stronger than a mother's love. Parents typically admit, you know, they admit they have a problem. They want to get help, but oftentimes they can't follow through because that addiction is so strong. Children removed from their homes often go through places like the villages. It specializes in foster care. Leaders say watching a child hope their parents will get better mm -hmm. is one of the hardest parts of the job. Let's say we have a five-year-old child that's expecting mom to show up on Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock and they're very excited and mom might have relapsed the night before and so she's a no-show. Jamie and Joel witnessed firsthand the toll addiction takes on these kids. They act out and with different behaviors um, because they are they can't be with their parents. The Irwins say the girl's mom tried to get better, coming to every visit and every therapy appointment. It's hard because we really wanted their mom to do well, and she did do well. But just a few months after the girls were reunited with their mom, that addiction itch came creeping back. Their mother relapsed again. The girl's grandma now has them. And now, she, you know, the girls are, are hurting, you know, their, their grandma is taking care of them really well, as the best she can, and, um, but it's, they still don't have a mom, <laughs> and all they want is mom, that's all they want. The clock is ticking when you're dealing with children. They can't wait forever while parents fight addiction. She, she does love them, it's just right now she's in a, she's in a dark place. And so are the girls, living without a vital piece of their puzzle. Just like so many other kids in our area, abandoned by addicts, struggling to understand why their parents can't get clean for them. Jamie and Joel are still in contact with the girls. They visit almost every month. And any day now, they're expected to get another foster kid. But there's still a need for foster families in our area. And that need is constantly growing. To see how you can become one, log on to WSBT.com and click on this story. In the studio, Jesse Schultz, WSBT 22 News.